today on the Blue Ridge Mountain Range, let's test out some pistol body armor. Full disclosure, we are not sponsored by this company. We purchased it outright. Let's see what we can put through it. Forgot to bring a pistol with me. This is a 22 long rifle. You know, it's going to pick up some velocity, have a longer barrel. But it is 22 long rifle and the armor is level 3 plus. It should stop up to a 44 magnum. So, Let's give it a try. As you can see right here is the hit from the 22 Magnum. Nothing came through. You definitely feel a bulge right there. Oh, nice. Step it on up to nine millimeter. So next up we have the SIG P320, nine millimeter. Miss So as you can see, right here's where it hit. Feel the bullet back in here. But there's no penetration whatsoever. Let's try 45. Wait. The other one wouldn't do it, so we're going to try S1911 SIG to see what it does. 45. Well, I hit it, as you can see. And still ain't nothing come out the back of it. So we're going to step it up to something different now. Up next, Ruger Blackhawk, 45 alone coat. We do not have a 44 Magnum, so this is the biggest handgun that I have today. Let's see if it'll stop it. The 45 alone coat slug, as you can see, it did get caught, and I'm assuming this is Kevlar, you know. It did not break it or anything on the back. It is severely disformed. Oh, let's step it up to a rifle round. Let's do what it's not rated for. So we're gonna step it up quite a bit. We're running out of daylight. This Lee Enfield 303 British. That plate is not rifle rated. Let's see if it will do anything. I'm gonna take a practice shot first on the steel plate. Just to see where it's hitting. Just to make sure I can hit it. All righty. Well, got bad news. It uh, definitely went through, but it is not rifle rated. It is pistol rated only. And that 303 just chewed through it like it was nothing. We got one more plate that we're gonna test and we'll see how that goes. Well, we're gonna try another one now that I ordered off eBay real cheap. We're gonna see how it does with this 22. It's a level two armor for pistols. Well, I shot 22. It didn't, it hit. And it didn't go through the back up, surprisingly. So we're going to go to something different now. Next, we're going to step it up to the Glock 17, nine millimeter. That plate is rated for nine millimeter and 357 mag. So it should stop a nine millimeter, but let's see. As you can see, we hit right below the 22, and still nothing. It's a very hard bulge. You can definitely feel the bullet in there. It did not go through, so I don't have a 357 with me. But let's step it up to 45 ACP and see if it'll stop it. Let's see 45. As you can see, we hit the top of it. 
No penetration whatsoever. Step it up. Let's try a 45 long coat out of the Ruger Black Hawk. See if it'll stop. Well, I hit it directly in the zipper and there's the 45 long coat slug. You can see, did not go through, that's kind of hot. But, I mean, just don't want to say it's going through, so. 12 gauge, Hatfield, Walmart special. So we used the slug in it. It was a one ounce. As you can see, no penetration whatsoever. None. Well, I'm going to try the DPMS A15 on the bulletproof plate. See how well it'll take. I shot it, and I knew it was going to fail, but you can see it came out. 